Okay, today we've got a 1990 Ford Bronco XLT for sale. This is the 351 Windsor, and it is a uh, six-inch lifted vehicle. has a suspension lift, all suspension lift, and as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, we've had it repainted in 2011, a real nice kind of a kind of a grayish blue color, and it also includes a fiberglass uh, back shell. Uh, right now, it's kind of in the pickup truck configuration, as you can see, and it has dual exhaust, good tow package, it has uh, all the wiring set up, and these mud flats are actually removable. So, if you take a look at this, you will see there is actually a quick release pin, the cotter key in the back side, and that can easily be pulled and removed. So, that's kind of a nice feature. Um, we also have an addition of some extra heavy-duty leaf springs in this Bronco. It handles more like a three-quarter ton pickup truck instead of a normal half ton. Uh, you can put a lot of trailer weight on the tongue and it won't sag a whole lot, which is really good. Let's go ahead and open the tailgate for you. You need to do a little bit of a vacuuming job, but uh, still in really good shape. Um, this is with the back bench seat out, and it looks a lot like a short box F-150 with no back wall and a really short pickup truck bed. Go ahead and close this up. There you go right to the driver's side. It's got a really good sheen. Try to take good care of this truck and keep it inside whenever I can. The interior is in very, very good shape. There is one issue though. We have the, the driver's seat here which has got kind of a Tearing it, as you can see, just from what is that probably close to 30 years of wear, it's going to have a little bit of wear and tear. Other than that, everything is pretty good shape. Um, I've replaced the floor mats, they're brand new. The carpet's still in very, very good condition. I apologize for the dim light. And uh, the headliner has a little bit of sag here and there from humidity. Um, if you're on a warm, dry summer day, that won't even bubble up at all. But that is one kind of a flaw that it has. Very hard to find a headliner replacement. Um, everything works as far as I know electrically. Well, let me engage the uh, engine here to see if those little tiny lights will work. Hopefully they work, we'll find out. Let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. Okay, so looks like we've got a fuse out right there. Should be pretty easy to replace that. You can tell it runs pretty good. It's a nice low rumble but dual exhaust. <laughs> and uh, that little sticker right there it says tailgater strikes. That's a true story. Five vehicles have lost their front ends to the rear end of this Bronco and it has come out unscathed. So we're pretty happy with this truck and how tough it is. It really takes a so, anyway, moving on up to the front here, we have automatic hubs. I kind of wish I had some worn manual hubs, but these work pretty well regardless. And we also have a steering stabilizer kit underneath. Anyway, hope you guys like what you saw and have a great day. We'll see you later.